Okay, I'm here with Richard Love, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Hypermac, who's going to tell us all about a new supersonic business jet. Uh, Richard, can you, can you tell us a little bit more about this fantastic machine? Yeah, absolutely. I just first wanted to thank uh, the Royal Antarctic Society for their interest in our program. This is our launch of uh, Hypermac's uh, Sonic Star supersonic business jet. Uh, it's designed to operate at a cruise of uh, Mach 3.5, 3.6, 60,000 feet or so. It's a business jet configuration, uh, VVIP class. We're roughly at about 150,000 pounds of takeoff weight. We are carrying in uh, in fully integrated uh, brand new revolutionary engine technology from Sonic Blue Aerospace. It's uh, a hybrid gas turbine uh, supersonic configuration. Uh, what that means is that it's uh, propulsed and powered electromagnetically with superconducting technology we've had under development for about seven years. And it allows for a, a super cruise and it also, the electric power on board, the surplus allows us to uh, electromagnetically uh, actively control the flow about the aircraft with plasma technology of that flow around the aircraft to suppress the boom and to manage the boom and manage uh, the flow about the aircraft. And uh, it's an exciting time, and uh, we're looking forward to working in Europe and uh, launch, launch, continue the launch of our company and uh, making, making Europe and uh, Great Britain our home. Okay. Um, can you tell us a bit more, uh, just a bit more, about how the, the, the jet engine, the, the, the engine you've got, differs from a normal jet engine? Uh, just in, in, uh, for a, sort of a layman's terms. Uh, our engine technology uh, was a, a clean sheet design. It's uh, what we call an exoskeleton architecture. It's uh, hollow in the center. It doesn't have spools or a drive shaft. We propulse all the, the bypass fan, the compressor, and the power turbine electromagnetically with the electric power that's generated on board by the uh, turbine from burning jet fuel. And we move that electric power forward to compress the air through the compressor and propel the, the compressor stages. And all the stages uh, in, act independently. There's a hollow core shaft down the center for bypass air and cooling. And it allows us to utilize some pretty revolutionary methods of materials and structure in the engine to pull out weight and make it dramatically more efficient than current engine technology today. And in reducing the sonic uh, boom for overland flight, obviously that's a key requirement. Uh, you said you're doing that through plasma uh, technology. Can you elaborate a bit? Yeah, we use uh, so th we use the baseline science of plasma uh, flow control about the aircraft. Uh, we basically are ionizing the air uh, about the aircraft as it as it passes uh, from forward aft. We're very focused on the the first shock wave and then the aft shock wave about the aircraft, and we can control and manage manage the shaping of, of that shock wave by managing and controlling the pressure uh, of that shock wave and that uh, in turn uh, attenuates or changes the uh, the flow path and the boom of that pressure wave to the ground okay what makes you can you think you can you can succeed when uh, others, so, uh, others have failed I think some of our future success is going to be based on how we've kind of structured uh, the, the company and the, and the engineering we've done. We got very focused in the beginning on the key critical enabling technologies that would allow uh, an aircraft like this to fly in the future. And we knew that, that the success of the program was going to be first on demonstrating those key technologies, doing all the engineering and the science. And then second fold was going to be the aircraft. And as a, as a young company, uh, we think that a better approach in terms of a business model is uh, we have and are in discussion with numerous companies of having uh, subcontracting primes becoming primes and becoming our primes and being part of Hypermark and the Hypermark launch to build the aircraft or the first two flight articles and moving towards production and certification. Okay, and when might we all to to, to, to fly to uh, uh, Paris, New York in uh, one hour, forty-five minutes? What's the time? Like? What's the schedule for you know sort of uh, first flights, uh, milestones? Um, our first flight is scheduled for uh, June, in the summer, uh, ten years from now, in 2021. Uh, we have a number of key milestones to move through. Uh, we have a, a subscale unmanned uh, air system to fly, uh, which will be a demonstrator for some of the key and critical technologies of this supersonic aircraft. Uh, we have milestones on the engine, which have uh, been in place. We're on the very front end of that. We have uh, some new engine hardware to build next year and uh, start assembling the key components of the engine over the next five years with a full engine test rig in about five years from now. Uh, we, we currently have some subscale hardware already operating, uh, which has been very successful. Uh, and we're, very, we're pleased on the progress of the program so far. Okay, thank you very much.